40,000 grandparents and elderly people will meet Pope Francis on Sunday in an event titled The Blessing of a Long Life, which will take place here in St. Peter's Square. Following the encounter, the Holy Father will celebrate Mass, which will be concelebrated by more than 50 elderly priests from around the world. During the preceding event, organized by the Pontifical Council for the Family, there will be a number of testimonials from elderly people and grandparents to Pope Francis. One of those who has been chosen to speak is Grandmother Catherine Wiley, who is also the founder of the Catholic Grandparents Association, which has offices in both England and Ireland. She spoke to Lydia O'Kane about what she will be highlighting to Pope Francis, in particular the vital role that grandparents play in passing on the faith. You have been chosen to provide a testimony to the Pope along with a number of other people. And I wanted to, to come to that first and just ask you, how did that come about? I'm sure, Lydia, it's because I'm a grandmother, number one. And because I'm a grandmother and I have 10 beautiful grandchildren, we started, um, or I started, the Catholic Grandparents Association. So we've been in uh, contact with the Pontifical Council for the Family and working alongside them for a good many years now. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it's as a result of that work, creating awareness for the vocation of grandparents, that I've been asked to give testimony on Sunday. What will you be highlighting to the Pope on Sunday? The importance of grandparents in the family, the the incredible importance of their vocation and, you know, that they really have a unique opportunity to pass on the faith to their grandchildren, particularly when they're small. You know, when we know that if you can plant seeds of faith in the children when they're small, as they say, it goes deep into the soil. So to be highlighting the importance of grandparents and the importance of their contribution to passing on the faith, that will be what I'll be highlighting. Do you think... Over the years, society's view has changed about grandparents. Yes, enormously. You can't compare now what it was in my day growing up. You know, grandparents stayed in the corner and they, they knitted or they sewed and they were figures of authority. Now, I mean, I speak to so many parents who say that they couldn't survive without their grandparents. They couldn't go to work without their grandparents. In every possible way, they support the family, you know, emotionally, physically, financially, and I think really most important of all spiritually. But certainly their role has changed from being somebody that was perhaps in the background just to being very, very much in the foreground and taking on the role of, you know, primary caregiver in many cases for their grandchildren. When you look at your 10 grandchildren, how do they view you? Do they think you're a very modern grandmother? How, how is that relationship? They, they think I'm very modern grandmother. They also think I'm quite mad <laughs> to... Um, be embarking on what I'm doing. I mean, we are, like very many families these days, in our family we have divorce, and we have all the difficulties that divorce brings with it. Uh, some of our own grandchildren are not baptized, and some of my own children have fallen away from the faith. So it's, we live in very challenging times as grandparents, really very challenging times. So my family do view me as a very modern, you know, uh, grandmother, and, and my grandchildren do, certainly, and we have great fun really great fun and, I, and, and, and an enormous amount of love and I think that a loving grandparent can do just about anything. But I think that in families nowadays there's an art to being a grandparent. It's knowing, you know, very sensitive, very unobtrusive, just, you know, managing really as best you can to be the best you can for your children so that you can help them to help your grandchildren. You just talked about the role there of, of the grandparent families, not always, not always easy, the challenges faced by families. There is a synod coming up in October on, on the family. How interested will you be in that and the challenges to the family? Well, we're, uh, you know, we're on belie- 100% interested because the Catholic Grandparents Association is all about supporting grandparents spiritually in the family in every possible way, supporting and valuing them in their role. So we'll be very interested in every single aspect of what takes place in the family synod. And I think we're going in January to discuss some of the the outcome from that. You know, a few years ago, Lydia, you may not know this, we asked Pope Benedict to write a prayer for grandparents because we were so conscious then the, of the incredibly important role and how we could possibly highlight it and focus on it. And Pope Benedict wrote a, an incredibly wonderful prayer for grandparents. And I think, you know, from memory, four of the lines were, make them teachers of wisdom and courage. 
that they can pass on to future generations the fruits of their mature human and spiritual experience. And I think that there is no family alive today who is not conscious and aware of the role the grandparents play. So I think that the Senate will be focusing very heavily on the role the grandparents play because I think that grandparents are possibly the key. You know, looking at St. Jochum and St. Anne, the grandparents of Jesus, I think grandparents are the key to helping us keep our faith alive and well. Just one final question, Catherine, just looking at Pope Francis himself. He has spoken at length about the important role that grandparents play. How, how important is that, is that voice? Pope Francis, the most important voice in the world. And the fact that his grandmother, Rosa, had such an incredible impact and influence on his own life has just highlighted. I mean, he is a pope for our times. And grandchildren, everybody thinks of the pope as a grandfather figure. In fact, my grandson will be asking our Holy Father a question on Sunday, and he'll be telling him that the children of the world love him like a grandfather. Everybody loves our Pope. He's wonderful, and he is very much accessible. He's, his voice is unimaginably important. It's the most important voice we have, and it's full of love and praise and honor for grandparents and for the elderly. So we're very, very, very blessed to have him at this moment in time.